All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College, AWD, or Application and Website Development Program, and in particular, the AWD 1100 C Sharp Programming Fundamentals class, I've been creating a series of video presentations based on the PowerPoints that are used for the book for the class. That book, as you can see on the screen, is Muroc C Sharp 2015. Now I've finished the first nine chapters, so I'm going to go into chapter 10, but I am going to do this one, actually 10 and 11, a little bit differently. And what I mean by that is I'm going to start with a blank project, a blank GUI project for chapter 10, and as Windows Forms and Controls are introduced, I'll add them to the project. All right? And... You know, I think there's a lot of controls introduced in here. So when I add them and show them to you, I might remove some of them, just so you know. Then in Chapter 11, I'll use either the same GUI or another simple GUI or maybe even a console application, and I'll show you some ways of debugging. All right, then we will move into the next section on object-oriented programming. I've also been creating, uh, for this class, I have been creating... A series of payroll presentations based on you know a, there's almost one for every chapter that we're going over starting with chapter two I think the first one was on two and three I did one for four one for five one for six etc and I've got to go back then and create the ones for seven through eleven all right so that said let's get started so I'm gonna bop back and forth so to speak between the PowerPoint presentations for the chapter and actual code so I think what I'll do is I will start up a session of Visual Studio. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new project. It will be a Windows Form app. I want to create it on my desktop. And I'm just going to call this Controls Demo. And I'm going to use the same name for my project as for my solution. All right. So Create that should create it then. All right, and we'll make this nice and big, and I will change the color on it. You already know how to do that, of course. Change the background color just so it comes up a little nicer looking on the screen. All right, we'll make it that color right there. All right, so with that, let's jump into the PowerPoints. There are, it looks like, 59 PowerPoints here. So again, this will be done as a series of, of lectures, not as just one lecture. All right. Some of this stuff in here we've talked about, things like tab orders. We may review it, but I don't really see the need to spend a lot of time on it. We can look at combo boxes, list boxes, radio buttons, check boxes, group boxes, etc. We can do all that stuff, and as I think we should. I'm not going to try to skip anything in here. Um, hopefully I won't. So here's a form it says with five more types of controls. So I'll tell you what, why don't we start, so why don't we make this form? All right, you can watch me do it, and you know I can kind of walk you through it as we're doing it. So as I often do, I come into Paint, I put this in here, and then I cut out what I don't need. So I'm just going to keep this. All right, so there that is. Wait, before I do that, let's make this a lot smaller. There we go. All right, so I'm going to have this handy for me, but I'm also going to print it out on our printer, so it's going to take me just a second here. But the reason that I'm doing that, all right, the reason that I'm going to do that <clears throat> is because, to me, um, bopping back and forth as I will be doing it's going to be a lot easier for me to have a hard copy of it around. But I am going to have this here. Oops, and of course the printer is offline. All right, so I want to create it and make it look as much like this as possible. All right? And it's telling me I can't. Okay. 
all right, I can't connect to the printer for whatever reason. So I'm just going to use this. But I'm going to try to cut it way down so that hopefully as we're working in here, I can have both of these showing, maybe not at the same time, but we'll see. All right, so let's come into here. Looks like it's going to be about, mm, I don't know, that size. All right. So you can see it here. Whoops, don't want to do that. They're pretty much the same size. So what do we have here? The first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to <clears throat> change the text on my form up here from form one to payment. Then I'm going to create what's called a group box right here. We'll put billing in there for the text and we'll put in two radio buttons. One called credit card and one called bill, bill customer. So let's do that first. All right. All right. So the first thing I want to do, let's let's come through here and let's change the name to form controls demo. We don't have to, but I'm going to anyway. And in here, again, I'm sorry, it's payments. All right, so the first thing's done. Then let's come into here. And widen this out. Why isn't that staying? There we go. All right, so I want to come in and put in one of these group boxes. Group box, there we go. Okay, and it's a little hard to see, but there it is. Looks like we can make it smaller than that. And we're going to call this group box billing. What you call it isn't really that important. But, I mean, in, in this example, of course, it is in your regular code. But it says they're billing, so that's what we're going to put here for the text. And I want to make sure you can read everything that I'm doing. So I'm going to change my font size. Let's make it about 12 point and bold. All right, I think it's a little bit easier to see. In fact, we can even bump it up a little more than that. So let's bump it up to, oh, I don't know, 16, let's say. That should be plenty big. All right, now, in here, so what have we done so far? All right, you're going to see, um, as you look, We've made payment. We've now got our group box. We want to put in two radio buttons here, one that will be credit card there and one that will be bill customer there. So let's put in our radio buttons. There's the first one. And there's the second one. Again, I, I might have to make this a little bigger, a little wider, etc. I'm not worried about that. All right. And you might say, well, they're not perfectly yeah, whatever. All right. So first one is credit card. The second one is bill customer. So let's call this radio button credit card. And we will make the text credit card. And radio button bill customer. Let's just make the text right now bill customer. And we will make the name. Oops, of course I did the wrong one. Okay. That's silly. So this is credit card. This one is bill customer.
All right, so now I've got that. I'm, and as I'm doing this, <clears throat> I'm already at 10 minutes. So I'm going to build most of this form right now. So you can see, looking pretty good. Then I need a label here that says credit card type and a drop down list. All right, so a label. Put that out here. Remember, um, we'll call this label drop down list. Kind of a silly name, but that's okay. And it's going to say credit card, that'd be a better name. Label credit card type. That's better. And this will actually have the text. Credit card type. Again, let's come in here and let's make it, I don't know if we'll be able to make it 16, but we'll make it at least 12, uh, probably at least 14. All right. And then we're going to come down here <clears throat> and make that credit card type. Credit card type. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right. Let's have our drop down list. And I think that's actually a list box right there. Put that here. I'll move it down. All right, and I don't see why we can't make this 16 like the other one is, so let's just do that. I like there to be some symmetry in here. I think it looks a lot nicer, more professional. All right, so there's credit card type. Let's look and see if I've missed anything. Credit card type. I need a colon there, and I want Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. There's different ways to fill this. The easiest way is probably to click this little arrow up here and type in Edit Items. What was that? Maybe it's not. Okay. Well, click here, go to Items, Collection right there. Click in there. String Collection Editor, I thought. Enter the string, one line per unit. Okay, there we go. So we've got what? Um, Visa, MasterCard, American Express. Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. All right, I believe that's everything. Again, the text is very small. Do the same thing we've been doing. That is, let's make it 16 point in bold. Looks a lot nicer. All right. How is this looking for this? Pretty good right now. Again, not perfect, but it looks pretty good. Looks like this is a little bigger, so maybe we can add more. So I can pull that down a little bit. There we go. I think I'm going to stop right here because I'm already at 13 and a half minutes. When I come back, I'm going to create the rest of uh, this particular form. So I'll have a label here <clears throat> in a text box, a label here in a couple drop downs, a checkbox with text, and two buttons. All right. So I'll be back to create that in just a couple moments. <clears throat> 